An accuser is alleging that Epstein made sex tapes involving a number of very, very well-known people. One of them, the former President Bill Clinton, another one, Prince Andrew, and these new documents were just unsealed by a court in New York. So we've had News Nation's Alex Capriello looking over all of this. He joins us from our Chicago newsroom right now. So, all right, uh, let's go over this now that you've had some time to look at it. What exactly is this accusation and, you know, what have we learned and, you know, can we tell if there's any truth to it? Yeah, I think that final portion is a great question. This all comes from a previously sealed deposition from an Epstein victim, Sarah Ransom. She claims there are sex tapes of former President Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, and media mogul Richard Branson, and that all three of those men can be clearly identified. On top of that, she claims she has copies of these tapes and scattered them throughout different secret locations in Europe just in case anything bad actually happened to her. She said only one other person knows those locations. But there's also questions now about the credibility of this whistleblower and if those tapes actually do exist. An article from The New Yorker from 2019 shows that Ransom reportedly admits she made up the whole story about those tapes. The news story states, quote, she had invented the tapes to draw attention to Epstein's behavior and to make him believe that she had evidence that would come out if he harmed me. We also dug up a separate email from Ransom retracting some of those statements, although at the time she claimed that she was retracting those statements because she feared retaliation. Okay. Um, any response from the, the Clinton camp, from President Clinton or anybody close to him from, from any of this? Right. As you know, that's one of the first things that we have to do. We reached out to President Clinton's team to see if they had any response to these new allegations, that there are tapes of him having sex with an unnamed Epstein victim. One of the most damning allegations, Connell, within that deposition is that not only was she silenced uh, by the Clinton campaign, but also that the Clinton Foundation, that charitable organization, paid her off to force that silence. But as of right now, we haven't heard back yet from Clinton's team. All right. Um, now, I was reading through this a little bit earlier. I didn't uh, see all of it, but I know there were some allegations in there about former President Trump as well, right? W what was that? Yeah, that's right. New allegations about former President Donald Trump, specifically that he would often go to Epstein's New York mansion to regularly have sex with one of those victims. The deposition included graphic details about these sexual encounters, saying he was a regular visitor there. But again, it's important to note that this victim is different than the one mentioned in those sex tapes. And above all, these are claims and just that allegations and allegations only. Anyone mentioned in these document drops does not necessarily mean that they're guilty of any wrongdoing at this point. Right. Of course. Okay. Um, Alex, thank you. Alex Capriello going through all of that, the breaking news from our Chicago newsroom today. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.